Hey, hey, good morning. Happy, what's today, Tuesday? <clears throat> good morning, good morning, good morning. Hope everyone is good this morning and ready to learn a brand new technique. Um, happy to be presenting. This is my first time presenting and being in the craft round the clock group. So I'm excited to be a part of that amazing group of talents. Um, be sure to say, Hey, Hey, when you get here and, um, I'd love to know where you're watching from. And if you're new to our page, um, tell me that too. Um, good morning. Good morning. It is a little cold here. I'm Lisa with Heart's Desire, and we normally, it's my husband Jonathan and I, but he's at work doing his day job, right? Um, hey, hey, Jennifer from Pennsylvania, and you're new. Welcome, welcome. Um, from New, so I got somebody from New York City. Good morning, Tracy. Um, we are in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and even though we're really close to the ocean, it is super cold this morning, so we ain't going near that water today, y'all, and it's supposed to be really, really cold this week. Um, so, today, what we're going to do is we're going to transform some wood into galvanized metal, and how we're going to do that, we're going to do that with paint. So, this is what... This is what the blank wood pieces look like, okay? So this one has the monogram cut out, but the one that we're doing today is just a solid milk can that um, I haven't quite decided what I want to put on the front, but you could do a transfer, you could do a stencil, you could do flowers, you could do anything you want to. Lots of newbies I see. Oh, good morning, Rhonda. I'm glad you made it on your lunch time. Kathy's first time watching. Diane, I see a lot of first time people. It's so nice to meet you and I hope that you will follow our page and be part of our Heartbeat community. Um, we love painting and doing all the things with, with wood and we do other things too, but I love to have a paintbrush in my hand. What we love to say around here is healing hearts through art because it truly is a healing thing. Um, but this is what our finished product is gonna look like. This is the look that we're going for, that galvanized look. So what do you think? You think we can do it? Go from wood to metal with just a little bit of paint? And you're not going to believe what we're going to use to make it happen. I'm going to start my timer. I forgot to do that. Um, good morning from Minnesota. Oh, I bet it is cold there. Hey, hey, Terry, how are you? Um, first time watcher from Louisiana. Good morning, Joyce. So we're going to get started because I want to make sure that we can get this thing finished. Um, I've already painted my base coat and the color I used, I mixed two gray colors for this background. Oh, thank you for sprinkling the faith. I love that, Lori. Thank you. Um, I used a color called gray sky and gray storm. Those are the two colors I use, and I kind of just put them on my palette, mix them together, and added some water, and it did just a light coat. Because really, we just don't want the um, the raw wood to be our base. We just want a little bit of color on it. And then we're going to take <clears throat> my palette. Let me, I'm going to turn the camera down so you can actually see what I'm doing. Is that good there? Can y'all see that there, I think? And if I miss any comments because I can't see if for some reason it goes too fast and I can't see it, just um, be sure to know that I will go back and answer all the questions if you have any, okay? Um, so the other colors that we're going to use is a slate gray. It's similar to the base color. And then we're going to use a little bit of a lighter gray called dove gray. Good morning, kids. Hey, hey. First time watching Fran, thank you, thank you. And then we're gonna use white. So those are the three colors, but to give it that little bit of the galvanized pop, we're gonna use some silver metallic. We gotta have some shiny sparkly in there, right? So we're gonna shake this up and I'm gonna just put them all out on my palette over here. If I can get it open. 
get my little my little paint spatula, get some paint out of that jar. Just put some, just dab it on your palette so you have some to work with. And then shake your paints up good. Uh, we did not sell the paints, but we do have an Amazon storefront that has everything linked in there. <clears throat> Thank you so much. My glasses come from Zenny Optical. They have a lot of really um, quirky, funky kind of styles, and I, I like that. I like to have a difference, and I like to have the color, um, too. I'm all, this girl's all about color. So I'm just going to put some out on my palette. We're just going to dippy-doo. <clears throat> we do sell the wood cutouts. That is what we offer. We have a laser machine, and that is our business. It's selling wood cutouts. We do sell finished pieces as well, but we sell mostly um, to other creatives. So, now, the secret. Are y'all ready for the secret to this? This is our tool. This is necessary for this project. It's bubble wrap. So don't pop those bubbles. Get this out of your packages that you know you got coming in from Amazon and pull these to the side before your husband or your children or your wife or whoever pops those. There's always somebody in the house that wants to pop them, right? So I'm gonna, whoops, I just popped some. After I gave y'all that speech, I popped some. <laughs> yeah, Terry doesn't order paint online. She's in Minnesota and it'll freeze before she gets it. So, there we go. So, I'm going to just have it to be just a little more manageable piece. And you want to just ball that up. Good morning, good morning. Yes, this is one of my favorite techniques is turning wood into metal. It's right here over my shoulder is what the look is that we're going for. So, let's just get started, and when we get started, just trust the process, y'all. Trust the process. Can y'all see that good? That's better. Hello from New Hampshire, new here. So many new faces. I'm so happy to see all the new faces on here. So, what you're going to do is you're going to take your, your paints. You have them all spread out here, and you're just going to dip your bubble wrap and get you a little bit and kind of put it in the center so you can kind of... Spin it around, just dab it in there and dab it off. And you're probably going to get this paint on your hands. Don't worry about that. So we got a little bit of a mix on there. You haven't used the bubble wrap. Well, you're about to be in love. So then you just start. Start anywhere and just, you can see it don't look nothing like galvanized right now. It just looks like bubble wrap dots. But just keep doing it. Keep dabbing on there. Just trust the process. You can grab more paint as you want it. <clears throat> Let's just go ahead and get our base started, and then we'll go back and tweak it. I'll hold it up for you so you can see. And this up here, I'm sorry. Yep, you can use a brush as well. I like the um, using the bubble wrap because it kind of gives a lift to the paint as well. And it gives that, I like the texture that the bubble wrap gives us. So just keep dabbing and getting your your start on there and then you're just going to go back and add in to get the look that you want. Right? You like this, Rhonda? Rhonda, did, I can't remember. Had you ordered one of the milk jugs before? Or I call them milk jugs. I don't know why I keep saying milk jugs. They're milk cans. Yes, ma'am. Yes, Kathy. Um, I will put my link in the comments when we get done here, okay? So 
that you can do this on really any kind of shapes. You can do this as a background on your sign. You can do this as a background if you like to paint on canvas. You can do this on your canvas backgrounds. Um, really any any medium or not any, um, oh, what am I trying to say? Any base that you're working on, you can do this. Even if you have an old milk can, you could do this on your old milk can and freshen it up, right? And you know what I was thinking last night? And I got these two colors out. You could also get out, get some of these colors like this and add some of that patina, some rust looking stuff. Use these and get you like a lime green and play around with that. The possibilities are endless. So see, it's starting to come along. Still looks like just bubble wrap on there, but you're going to just keep working it. And the white, you would think the white is going to be too light to add in there, but the white really does add the pop too. I think the white and the metallic silver are key. You don't have to have the exact colors that I have. You don't have to um, have the metallic. You know, use what you have. You don't, you don't have to go out and buy stuff. Um, that's okay. The color paints that we're using are, it's Deco Art Americana is what I'm using today. And you can use Folk Art as well or any other brand that you have. Apple Barrel from Walmart. This one is Slate Gray. And it's kind of the same color as the background that I painted. And then you're going to have a white, just white. And this one is called dove gray so it's it's a really light gray as well and then the the other thing is the metallic the silver metallic okay yes thank y'all for sprinkling i appreciate that so much and i think i might be missing some comments but i promise i'll go back all right so now i'm gonna get some of this metallic and add some because it comes out and looks a little bit darker so i'm gonna add some dark there where i got like a big blob here in the center so i'm gonna kind of break that up a little bit thank you sheila i appreciate that First time from Oklahoma. Welcome, Robbie. Welcome, welcome. I love meeting new faces and new people. So, <clears throat> are y'all working on a special craft today? Or are you just staying warm? Everybody seems to be experiencing some cold weather today, no matter where you are. Like I said, I'm in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and it is, it's cold. We don't like it. My husband this morning was saying it's going to be in the 20s for a couple days soon, and I I argued with him. I don't want that. John, we're in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And for those that came on late, I am, this is my first time presenting for Craft Around the Clock, and my name is Lisa, and I am Heart's Desire. Um, you'll be meeting my husband as well because normally when I'm live, my husband is with me unless it's during the daytime or morning and he's at work. Um, but we have lots of fun over here on Heart's Desire. Never a dull moment is what I usually tell people. Never a dull moment with this one over here. And that's the way it's supposed to be. I'm going to add some white to give it some of that pop. Oh, Renee, you're going to be breaking out your flip-flops with the 35 degrees, aren't you? Kim, you love Myrtle Beach. <laughs> Thank you, Sheila. It is beautiful here. It is beautiful here. I'm a Carolina girl. I was born in North Carolina. I was born in Gastonia, North Carolina. And I grew up coming to Myrtle Beach, um, like a lot of people. And um, when it came time to to move, the choice was, there's a hair in there. The choice was the mountains or the beach. And I love to watch snow on TV, but I do not want to live in snow. So 
the beach it was. Been here since um, 1999. <laughs> Seven inches. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's right. Flip flops and shorts. 35 degrees. I remember the first time I met someone from Minnesota. It was the winter time. Um, and they had on flip flops and shorts and a hoodie. And I was like, are you not, are you crazy wearing those shorts? It's freezing. And he's like, this ain't cold. You know, we get, we get cold when it's in the fifties, but <laughs> I think it's supposed to be 50 something today, which that'd be nice. But I won't be wearing flip flops. I'm fortunate to be able to do what I do full time so I don't have to worry about the, the weather if it's cold usually I can just stay put all right what do y'all think how's it looking this is it starting to look like galvanized to you a little less like bubble wrap what you think are you going to tell me down in the comments are you going to try this technique if you try it I would love for you to send me a picture let me know what you did with it. And if you want one of these milk cans, um, I have that link up above the video in the description where you can get your own milk can. You can get one, just a solid one like this to do your own design on, or you can get one with your initial, like this one. Hello from Elgin, South Carolina. Hello, hello, hello neighbor. I just got all tongue twisted. <clears throat> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello from Maine. I, Ron, I thought you had gotten one. Yep. I love, I love this project. So I'm going to put a little bit more of that metallic silver, but I'm going to wait for it to dry. And I cannot forget we have, let me put that over here on my laptop. My husband gets a kick out of that. I, he said, you know, you're married to somebody that paints when they put their paint on their laptop and their computer. So you, we have the pieces that embellish to make it stand out like on this one. You can see it's got the, the seam part is a separate 3D la laser piece. So we gotta do those two. Oh yes, need one for your new place. So are you gonna be going um, like farmhouse style in your new place? I don't really have like a farmhouse theme in my house or anything. I kind of like, I get what I like and I put it up. I like a little bit of everything. I like a little bit of the bohemian style. I like a little bit of shabby chic. I like a little bit of farmhouse. Yeah, you do it like that, too. Kind of like, um, as creatives, I think a lot of us are like that. Like, we don't just do one thing. Like, I love to paint things, and I love to work with wood, but I also love decoupage. I love all the pretty papers, and I love um, all the pretty fabrics. Um, I like to use fabric in a no-sew kind of fashion. I'm not... I'm not, I learned really quick that I'm not a quilter and I'm not um, a seamstress, so I, my little sewing machine stays stored away and dust free. <laughs> so, see how fast that transforms those pieces? What do we have for starting out? Um, we have, on our website, we have all kind of different shapes. There's some shapes that have more detail etched into it, like the door hangers. Um, I don't have any in here with me right now, but the door hangers the, with the designs on them that you can just paint in, kind of like, um, not paint by number, but um, 
kind of like a coloring page that has your design painted on it. Um, <clears throat> so they work kind of like that. I like to use um, paint and I also use Posca markers and I'm getting ready to use a Posca marker here in just a minute. So I'll show you that. I got too much white right there. Yes, you need the milk can to go with your cow door hanger. That's right. And these old milk cans, you know, this doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be perfectly balanced and all of that. Um, because it's an old milk can. It's been probably stored in a barn and stuff. I love those old rusty milk cans. I have one. Well, I have actually... I have three because I just love them so much and the one is white and it's all rusty and crusty looking and when I got it from the guy um we used to be a vendor at a place here in Myrtle Beach and when I got it from the owner he had them and I got it from him and he's like you can make it look pretty good with some new paint I'm like are you crazy I ain't painting over that rust that rust is gorgeous are y'all like that you like the rust all right so I think I'm good with these. And then when you put it together and you want to add more, you just put it on there. Just like the apron says, it's just paint. You can add some, you can sand it off, you can paint over it. It's just paint. Nothing to be afraid of. Oh, yes. I've seen people use it for their flowers. I've seen them. Hey, Rita, you made it. Sheila, I love old and rust, too. That is my jam. Good morning, Tony. I didn't see you slip in, girl. So, here we go. I think we're good with that one. We're going to glue these pieces on. And we are, look how far here we are. This was a super fast project, y'all. Um, it's 9.37, so it took us 20 minutes to do this. What? That's crazy. Um... I did paint the background first, so that saved us some time. I wanted to make sure. I do actually have a hot air balloon. You've been here since the start? I didn't even see you. I'm sorry. So, to assemble our 3D pieces, we always use, this is what we use, it's Starbond. And this, we use the um, flexible medium thick. And the reason for that, it's like super glue. It dries really fast. But the reason for that is flexible. See, even though I've got that glue and I put that down, I have a few seconds that I can adjust and make sure that I have it just right. Um, the balloon, you can just order that on our website, and that figures out the shipping and everything for you. The Starbond glue, we have some of that also listed on our Amazon storefront. I will link that. Um, but if you, you can also order directly from them. They're in California, and the great thing about them is they ship for free. Um, I believe it is... Let me look up the, the website for you. Star, it is starbond.com. So the brand name, if you want to take a screenshot of that, is Starbond. And it's starbond.com. Or you can order it through our Amazon storefront. They ship really fast and everything ships free every day. I think if you order before 3 o'clock, it ships the same day. Those are my kind of places. I like fast shipping. We usually try to ship fast as well. Um, obviously, we aren't able to ship the same day because we don't have this the things cut out and stocked as inventory. But we usually ship within two business days, um, three business days is usually the latest that we ship depending on the load, but we do our best because I know a lot of people are like me and they, they're used to Amazon and they want their stuff. I like to have my stuff fast too. So you just line those up with those little ridges on the sides. 
and you have yourself a milk pen. What do you think? Do I do balloons and pop it? I'm sorry, I, I don't understand what you're asking me. All right, so I think we need to put something on there because we have time, right? What time is it? It's 940, we have 20 more minutes. We can dress this puppy up. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't even show you my Posca pan, let's do that. Need a darker gray. Maybe I don't have one. Well, these are the Posca pens that I'm talking about. Do y'all use these Posca pens? These are paint markers, and I really, really like using them. I didn't used to love using them, but I found um, that the thicker points are the ones that. Um, are easy to work with. Hello, hello, Arkansas. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for all the new faces that are coming on here and joining us. I don't think this is gonna be dark enough, but we're gonna try it. I haven't used this one yet, so I have to prime it right quick. Get down here so I don't have to shake the table. Hello, Oreg is Oregon. I always say, I think I always say that wrong. There we go. It's not completely prime, but we're gonna go with it. Um, there we go. So you can see in the handle, it's got that etching. And if you put just a darker color on that to make that stand out, and I don't think this is gonna be dark enough, so we're gonna use a I don't know that might I think that might work yeah just a subtle a subtle difference so you can tell that it's it's the opening in the handle oh hello in Canada and Illinois good morning Trudy hello from Omaha Nebraska well thank you for watching Jenny welcome so happy to see all the new faces and I hope that you will follow our page I'll tell you what y'all we are a little bit under 22,000 followers and I'm thinking because it's 2022 this Saturday is the 22nd if we hit that 22,000 followers I think we need to have some kind of a party Saturday what do y'all think Hit that 22,000. We, um, when we hit 20,000, we were not able to celebrate because it was around Christmas and, um, our son brought home a cold from college. So <laughs> Christmas was a little different this year, but anyway, we're almost at 22,000 and I think it'll be fun to have a party with the, with the theme of 22, you know, what do y'all think? All the twos. It's the year of the twos. 22,000 followers. But we're not going to stop there. We're going to keep on going because y'all are amazing. And then um, September, uh, not September. I'm already in September. What's wrong with me? January 22nd is this Saturday. And this is not gluing. There's our, but that one's not sticking for some reason. Paint party 22. So if you're not following us, please follow us. I think we're about 150 away from 22,000. We're not very far from it. We can, um, 22 is your number, Trudy. We can reach that super easy. All right, so let's dress it up a little bit. I think we have some more time. It's 944. <laughs> I'm not 
sure what that alarm was for. Hopefully it wasn't important. The link to purchase this is in above the um above the video and the description is the link for these. What type of makeup do I use? Um, 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 um Merle Norman. Merle Norman. Thank you for following. Yay. We've never done mystery bags, but we do um, on occasion have a flash sale where we've had finished pieces that we paint during our lives. And we have pieces that are, um, have slight imperfections that um, aren't really, if you're going to paint it and use it, it's not like a really huge deal, but we, um, we try to catch stuff like that. You know, like this one right here has a little chunk of wood on the back. And I'm going to glue that to my milk can so it's not going to matter. You're not going to be able to see that. But if you ordered this for me, I wouldn't send it to you like that. Certainly not on purpose. So, let's paint these. And I think I'm going to use this color shift paint. Just to add that color. See how it turns out, right? This is Folk Art Color Shift and it's called Aqua Flash. Have y'all used this color shift paint before? And when also, when I do, um, when I paint the tiny little letters and stuff, I put it on a piece of masking tape that holds it in place, or painter's tape, I call it masking tape. Painter's tape, and um, it holds it in place, and that way you don't get as much paint on your fingers, which that, that doesn't bother me, but some people it bothers. My husband doesn't like to get the paint all over him, but that's because he don't want to have it on his fingers and then turn around and have it on the, the project, so. He's a little more um, particular. I'm a little more wild. So, together, we're a perfect match. Found like in my live yesterday, in our um, we have a membership that we send out each month. Two projects in our little subscription box. It's um, Heartbeat with Heart's Desire. And when I did the live video yesterday, I slung black paint everywhere. It was on my iPad. It was on my laptop. It was on our overhead lights and my phone on my glasses. It was everywhere. And he wasn't here. He was at work, but I told him last night what I had done and he just shook his head like I knew that he would. Yes, the tape, the tape is a lifesaver. Yeah, Rita, I've seen you use the color shift before. The color is Aqua Flash. And it's Folk Art Color Shift. If you want to take a screenshot of that, I'll hold it for just a few seconds so you can get that. And anybody that's on here that has a business page, um, Please feel free to post your um, your page on there so we can all make sure everybody gets followed today. This is an amazing creative community online. That's the thing about Facebook. It brings us together with people that we probably wouldn't have otherwise met, right? Yes, ma'am. You're welcome. I'm going to do these the same color too. I might go back and change that later, but we're going to go with it now and try to get it done quick so you can see what it's going to look like. These are just extras that I had laying around and I thought I would bring them in here in case we had time. And we do. It does take more cover, more coats if you're only using this. Um, it's I think it's helpful to put like a pale color of whatever color shift paint if you use like a lighter shade of that. Um,
that helps. Oh, Carol's trying to hit 4,000 this month. Y'all go show, go, um, follow Carol's page. She posted it up above her, um, comment there. That's exciting. I will be sure and go through and follow those that I'm not already following. So, let's get this on here. I don't think that's going to show up enough, but it might. Might have to just put more coats on it. I don't know though. I kind of like the subtle pop of color. We'll see what y'all think. So when I was carrying everything in here, getting all my stuff together, I was carrying too much and I wasn't being careful and I busted. I busted that. But the thing about it, the way these little pieces break, you can piece them together, and when you glue it down, you never can tell that I did that. So, what do you think? I think that's just enough. It blends in nicely, doesn't it? Oh, Joanne's trying to reach a thousand. Y'all go follow her page, too. Hello from Idaho. Oil pastels and wood burning. Oh my goodness. That is that is awesome. I do love um, both of those things. I do not do oil pastels. I don't do the wood burning either. But my, um, my girlfriend, Tony, that's on here, she does some of that, her and her husband. Isn't that what you do, Tony? Is that what, what y'all do on those um, boards? So... All right, y'all, that is what we have. We're done a few minutes early, but that's okay. Early is better than late, right? I love it. And then it has up here, it has the holes. So all you have to do is take some twine or ribbon, um, whatever color that you want to use, feed it through the hole. And this twine, for some reason, already has a knot in it. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so glad y'all like it. We do um, all sorts of different projects over on our page. I'll turn you up so you can see a little bit um, of the variety. Right now, obviously, we've been working on some Valentine's stuff. And we have different um, door hangers as well. Thank you, Tracy. I'm so happy to be a part of it. It's been amazing, and I've already fell in love with even more creatives than I had before. So, y'all have a great day. Thank you for joining, and be sure to stick around because we have another great presenter coming up next. Y'all have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye.